Well, I think that so far we've been talking about atoms like carbon or silicon or neon, but most compounds aren't made out of just one type of atom. Most compounds are made out of a collection of atoms. For example, you might have silicon plus hydrogen, or you might have carbon plus oxygen. So there's a bunch of, those are what are called molecules. So this is the molecule of water. What does this tell us? This means that water consists of molecules that have one oxygen and two hydrogens each. Carbon dioxide consists of molecules that contain one carbon and two oxygens each. This is the formula for glucose. So this tells us that glucose consists of six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens each. So a molecule is a collection of atoms. So most compounds are not just made out of one atom, but they're made out of collections of molecules. This is the formula for methane, which I think is natural gas. So what does methane consist of? Well, each molecule consists of one carbon and four hydrogens. So let's say we had one mole of methane. Let's figure out what the mass of one mole of methane would be. So how could we go about doing that? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, good, good. So hopefully, um, if you remember stuff from that, we'll be able to go through this more quickly. So that's good. Let's start rounding things off more just to integers. So we can say that the, uh, so the periodic table gave us a mass of 12. So we can just give the carbon a mass of 12. That's good. So we know that uh, each methane has each molecule of methane has one carbon and four hydrogens. Uh, from the periodic table, we got a mass of 12 for the carbon. What should be the units on this 12? Grams. That's right. Remember that the periodic table tells you how many grams per mole. So since we're focusing on moles, so what does this number one mean? It really means one mole of carbon. This really means one mole of carbon. Well, one mole of carbon would have a mass of 12 grams. If we were looking for just one molecule, then this would be 12 AMUs. But we don't usually think about that. We usually focus on uh, grams and moles. And then the hydrogens are approximately one gram each. So that would be 12 plus four, or 16 grams. So how could we put this in compact form? What does this tell us about methane? This tells us that we have uh, 16 grams of methane per mole. Of methane. That summarizes the information that we've got. One mole of methane would have a mass of 16 grams. And this is what's called the molar mass of methane. So earlier we were using the periodic table to figure out the molar mass of atoms. The molar mass of carbon is 12 grams of carbon per mole of carbon. And the molar mass of hydrogen is approximately one gram of hydrogen per mole of hydrogen. But now we've moved on to molecules, and we can also use the periodic table to find the molar mass of molecules. Good. So yeah, you remembered how to do that. That's good. Uh, let's say we've got so we still, so if you had one mole of methane, there would be, how many grams of methane would that be? 16 grams of methane. Mm -hmm. 
Now, how many grams of carbon are there in one mole of methane? In one mole of methane, how many grams of carbon are there? And this is something we can work out with, without too much scratch work. It's actually a, maybe a simpler way to do this. We can just kind of look at this and see if you have one mole of methane, how many grams of carbon would that represent? Is it 12? Yeah. Maybe we should have done this in steps. If you have one mole of methane, how many moles of carbon do you have? If you have one mole of methane, how many moles of carbon is that? How many moles of carbon would that be? One. One. That's right. Every one methane has one carbon. So one mole of methane would have one mole of carbon. All right. And how many grams of carbon would that be? Okay. So one mole of methane has 12 grams of carbon. So how many moles of hydrogen do we have? We have one mole of methane. How many moles of hydrogen is that? One. Actually, I think that might be mistaken. If we have one mole of methane, how many moles of hydrogen would that be? Four, not one. You can see for every one unit of methane, there's one carbon but four hydrogens. So for one mole of methane, there would be four moles of hydrogen. Uh, so then, if we have one mole of methane, how many grams of hydrogen would that be? One. One mole. If we have one mole of methane, how many grams of hydrogen would that contain? Four. Four, not one. Four, not one. Mm -hmm. We don't have just one mole of hydrogen. Whoops. Sorry. We've got four moles of hydrogen. So four moles of hydrogen would be four grams of hydrogen. So notice, one mole of methane has only one carbon, but it has four hydrogens. This is what you use to get the 16. You did 12 plus 4 is 16. Uh, how can we write these as conversion ratios? So let's say we have moles of methane. What would be the equivalency between moles of methane and moles of hydrogen atoms? That's right. If we have one mole of this, because of this number, we got four moles of this. So that's how we could write this like an equivalency. One mole of methane is equivalent to four moles of hydrogen. How about the equivalency between moles of methane and moles of carbon? One mole of methane is This is much simpler. This doesn't have any subscript. Or if, if there is no subscript, that really means there's a subscript of one. So we're assuming there's a one there. So one mole of methane would be equivalent to one mole of carbon. All right, and that's how you could have done these conversions here. For example, I asked you how many moles of hydrogen there was in one mole of methane. Well, you could have done that like a full unit conversion. You could have said, I'm going from moles of methane to moles of hydrogen. And then the conversion would be moles of hydrogen, oops, moles of methane on the bottom, moles of hydrogen on the top. And then our equivalency here tells us that there's four for the moles of hydrogen and one for the moles of methane. And then you would get 1 times 4 equals 4, which is what we got here. 
Now, this should be so obvious that we shouldn't really have to write this down. Some conversions are so easy, we should be able to do them in our head. Um, so I'm not saying you have to write this down every time. This is so easy. You should be able to look at this and say, oh, one mole of methane is four moles of hydrogen. You shouldn't have to write this down, but you should be able to write it down if you need to. Um, 